Morning guys. So um, I've gotten a package from Arteza. I am a affiliate with them. Uh, so real quick at the uh, end of the video, if you wanna take a look in the uh, video description box, uh, you'll find a 10% off coupon to any Arteza products through the links that I provide. Um, I also received a, a shipment from them and I'd picked out various colors that I wanted to work with. And I'm uh, gonna be working today with Rose. It's a premium acrylic. It's a really beautiful color. I'm gonna be working with Violet. And it looks really dark, but I swear it's in there. <laughs> So I'll show you the color. Um, <clears throat> so here you go. I don't know. Can you see? Yeah, you can see the color. So um, that is the violet that I'll be working with. And I'm going to be working with, <clears throat> I would have to say, my favorite red at this time. And it's called Bordeaux Red. And it's this beautiful, deep wine red. And the color is just stunning. So I got a package of that, which I'm really excited about. Um, really doesn't take much. Most of this is Floetrol. This is a nine ounce cup. So I moved it up to one to the second line with Floetrol. I squirted in a little bit of this uh, to, to get it all ready to go for a pour. There is no water in these colors. Uh, this is the rose. A little bit lighter but I didn't want the really really dark color um, <clears throat> and I'm also gonna be working with uh, brushed metal metallics by art minds its name is Ruby and I'll show you that I I mix this equal color equal amount flow to to paint so it's got a nice iridescent shine to it and I'm going to be using Deco Arts 24K Gold in Extreme Sheen. So those are my colors. Um, I'll be putting down a white base coat and using white uh, paint also. So I'm gonna do, I'm hoping it comes out well, uh, ring pour. So we'll see how we do. I'll be back in a few minutes once the, the canvas is coated. Okay, I'm back. I've coated my canvas and um, I was able to get a lot of paint on here but also paint went on my mat and this mat underneath me is a lifesaver and amazing for skins um, I've gotten some beautiful skins off of it it is the lolly beef jumbo silicone mat there's also a coupon code for that in the video description as well um, you can get five dollars off if you order it through my link uh, this is a great product. It's very silicone-y, <laughs> rubbery, um, but it's fantastic for skins. And then um, we're sending out, she's sending out, uh, Adriana Sutherland contacted me and sent this over to me to try out. Um, with the, the mat right now, um, There's they're including a scraper and... I can't find my utensil holder. I just had it out here, but I moved it out of the way for the camera. Uh, I'll find it. Oh, here it is. Okay. And this. You, not, you wouldn't put this utensil in it, but you can hang up, your, you t hang up or prop up your utensils here. All the drippings, which is great for my Ninja Swiper. Uh, it drops the dro drippings in here, so it's not all over the place. And you know, go from there. But this is a great product. I've used it. Um, I'm obviously still using them all, but for this, I'm not doing a ninja swipe. Therefore, I don't need to use the, the utensil holder, but this um, silicone mat is fantastic. Um, so I love it because you could scrape up the paint that you don't use if you want, and you can, um, like the white, um, I had a little bit too much white come off this edge and I was able to scrape it up and put it back into the cup without any problems. And I don't know if you, you guys got to get one. That's all I have to say. It's, it's, uh, approximately 24 by 32, I believe it is. Um, yeah. 
and it, it pretty much covers my workspace which is which is great because I don't usually need to utilize the sides I have my little doggy puppy piddle pads down um, but this is it all right so we're gonna get pouring I have a really big measuring cup but I've also flooded my canvas we're gonna we're gonna go for this just gonna put some white in the bottom oh no I feel like this is gonna be too big yeah let me get my other measuring cup. I'm gonna use a two cup measuring cup. This is a, or yeah, a two cup. This is a four cup. I don't need four cups, so I'm just gonna pour that back into this one. And get all that paint out of there. That's enough for that. A little bit of gold. Not sure how this is gonna come out, but we'll see. Do some of this ruby metallic from Art Minds. down to the bottom here. I want to make sure I get all that paint out. With my ring pours, I always want my paint to be thicker and more paint so that I can get a good composition. And whatever you throw down first is going to be what goes to the edge. So it'll expand out to here. Those are the bits that you're really stretching out. Um, but I want enough still to be, to keep my rings nice and somewhat formed and tight in the middle. Mm 
Okay. I still have some of this left, so we'll keep that to the side. I'm getting paint on me already. It's going to be a good pour, right? <laughs> Signs it'll be a good pour when you're getting paint on you already. Okay. So, now remember I'm doing a ring pour, not a straight pour but it'll come out sort of like a straight pour to begin with, maybe. Ah, bummer. I was getting too much white there in the middle. Now I have some crazy like slash through it. But if it's meant to be, it's meant to be. If it's not, it's not. So we'll just leave it there. Definitely not what I wanted to happen, that's for sure. And you can't really correct that. Everything was fabulous. All right, here goes. Go over that edge. Oh, that's so sad. Big line. Oh, the colors are fantastic. The lines are amazing. That is not gonna work for me. Ugh. 
looks like an umbilical cord. <laughs> we got to get rid of the umbilical cord. <laughs> and I have no idea how I'm going to do that. Oh, well, let's see if I can give it a little bit of a push off. I'm afraid I'm going to have to move it right off the canvas and lose all of that. Sorry guys, I'm just trying to move it. Well, it was a fabulous ring pour until uh, the umbilical cord incident. But what are you gonna do, right? tell you when one thing doesn't go your way trying to fix it is not as easy but these lines are amazing the lines and the colors are truly just fantastic What I'm going to do here is bring you guys in so you can look at these lines there. They're just crazy, crazy cool. This is as good as it's gonna get. <clears throat> yeah, give it a torch and bring you guys in. amazing okay let's bring you guys in oh part of the glare look at those lines go this way you can see the little glitter bits oh. we turn those lights off but then you wouldn't be able to see the colors all right. The 24K gold is coming up. I just love, love, love these little 
little bits. So pretty. No, oh, I'm out of focus. Boy, it's being a bugger today. Oh, there you go. like a lifeline <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do with that if I had a balloon I would try Heather Matters balloon roll or whatever they are but I do not so I would totally botch that and I don't want to try using one of the gloves because you know something will go bad and I'll be just totally screwed so we'll see how this dries. I, I'm, I'm certain it'll dry beautifully. I just don't know about the umbilical cord. I'm just not into umbilical cords on my paintings. So, and all the gold shimmers. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching. Can I get this to focus? There we go. You guys have a great day. And remember, the link's in the bottom. We have the Lolly Vif silicone matte link, $5 off. And also the Arteza products that I used are also um, linked down below. And anything you get from Arteza will be 10% um, off for you. Uh, just remember to use my coupon code. And that is also in the description. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And uh, any questions, just comment, like, subscribe, ring the bell, get notifications for when I put up something new with or without an umbilical cord, and uh, go from there. Have a great day. Bye.